guys, happy Friday. So today our video is a little bit longer because last video was a little bit shorter and a lot of you guys commented that you wanted longer videos. So we're gonna try a longer video this week, but let us know if it sucks or you don't like it or whatever. Um, so today we're doing five things that get us through the work week. So we were saying it's sort of like a favorites video, but it's like our favorite things that get us through the work week to help us power through to the weekend. So let's just Jump right in. Um, my first thing that helps me de-stress and get through till Friday is walking. <laughs> that sounds probably kind of old lady-ish, but um, <laughs> not prancer size. Not pr I, maybe I should try prancer size, but um, uh, yeah, it's like how I start my morning. I get up at like seven-ish and I take my little dog for a walk, and not a long walk, just like a 20-minute walk, but it just sort of gets my blood pumping gets my dog some exercise, and sometimes I'll listen to like podcasts or something, but sometimes it's nice to just not have any media, just clear my head, walk, get some exercise. It's really, really great, and I recommend walking if you just wanna have a good start to your day, but don't have the energy to run like me. The morning's a perfect time to do that too because it's like so brisk and mm -hmm. cool and it's just Wakes so you up. refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. So recommend walking. Get outside. <laughs> walk yourself. <laughs> Okay, so my first one is my planner. Now, confession, I totally used to be one of those people who would buy planners and like notebooks and be like, I'm gonna be organized this year. Office supplies are the best. And they would just like be scattered throughout my apartment and I would never whip out the planner. No, not anymore. I'm a grown up now. This has my life in it. I have like my meal planning stuff in here, which makes me sound like a total freak, I understand that, but whatever. I have my grocery lists, okay. like appointments, like phone numbers, my Southwest information for my like a rapid reward, everything is in this. So if someone stole it, I probably would weep like legitimately, but. It's good because it's like you can get all the stuff that's in your brain out and like not be like stressed. Yeah, and it's just like, it's all here. Now, actually, I really, and this planner specifically, I really love, and it's from The Green Room, which I think is, is that a brand only at Target? I think it's exclusively at Target. I think it's, yeah. I really love their stuff, especially their planners, so I'm gonna get another one for the new year, but. Thanks, Green Room. Man, keeps my life organized and my work week. Get a planner. I have something in my eye. That's why I keep blinking. I'm not like oh. winking at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so the second thing that really helps me, again, de stress, there's a theme here. A lot of de stressing items get work through the stressful. work week. Um, and that's reading. <laughs> Obviously, I read at work sometimes, but just. Going home, now that it's cooler, turning the fire on, getting under a blanket and reading is just so great because, you know, when you're on the computer, it's really easy to be like multitasking and doing a bunch of different things. At least that's how I am on the computer. So to just focus on one thing is really, really helpful for me to just like calm down. And the book I'm reading right now is David and Goliath by Malcolm Gladwell. It's taken me a while to get through this. like takes me a little longer than like a novel or something because there's so much information yeah. so like I'll go back and reread the chapter I just read to make sure I'm really like getting it because it's really really cool like if you love like learning things about like human interaction or the human psyche or anything I just it's really really good and it is easy to read but there's just so much that you sort of want to reread it so you really like digest it but his books are hefty. The, yeah, like, they really are. There's just a lot to And this one's, this one's really good because it's David and Goliath, Underdogs, Misfits, and the Art of Battling Giants. So it's really, it's a really good book and I really recommend it. But I also just recommend reading at the end of the day to de-stress and focus your mind and calm yourself before going to bed. So, there you go. Alrighty, so with that being said, <laughs> my next one is Netflix, yeah. which... <laughs> It's Netflix. I'm not really ashamed to say that because I do go through seasons of like downtime and relaxation. Like I'll, ha I'll be reading a lot or I'll go through a lot of podcasts or I'll binge watch a TV show. We've and all been Lately, there. my life has had a lot of kind of downtime and needing rest and stuff. So I'm binge watching The West Wing, which is kind of a hard show to binge watch because it's, it's hefty, <laughs> but like it's just, my God, that's a good show. It's so good. I, I named, love it. Like I named my dog after the president in that show. It's so watched. well done. 
he'd be proud. Oh my gosh, <laughs> love it so much. I'm pretty far. I'm like, I'm on season seven, I think. Thumbs up this video if you watch <laughs> The West Wing. Please, thumbs up. This and if you like, haven't what? watched The West Wing, do yourself a favor and watch it because, so good. my lord, you will not regret it. It's not time wasted. No shame. You feel smarter after you watch <laughs> it, so. You're welcome. <laughs> it's a good way to unwind too. Just, you know, I don't like sit there and watch eight episodes in one night, my gosh. But you know, one, two, I'm feeling a little. Seven, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Netflix, we've all been there. Um, okay, so the third, my third item is bubble baths. Amen. This, amen. Holla back. So for me, I'm really into Epsom salts. It looks very, uh... And looks very medicinal. It, it does. It smells pretty medicinal. The ones that I really like are the Dr. Teal's Epsom salt, and this one has the eucalyptus and spearmint. They have one with lavender, but sometimes lavender is just really overpowering to me. And um, this in one... In a bath, is, yeah. Yeah, it's just like you're in a field of lavender. <laughs> well, this is you're in a field of spearmint, I guess, but... <laughs> It's really good. This is actually recommended by my chiropractor and Epsom salts sort of help release the toxins that you have in your muscles. And I'm a really tense, like tight person. So anything to relax my muscles, I'm so there. So yeah, I'll just put in like some bubble bath, maybe like a lush bath bomb or something and some Epsom salt. These are, you smell, do you smell it? It's so like, whoo, it's very, whoa. very it's, it like really hits you after. Like, yeah, <laughs> like my whole room smells like spearmint after. It's really good. But, um, and I used to like watch TV shows or something while I was in the bath, but recently I've stopped doing that and I just light a candle. I'll even like turn the light off and just soak Be. in the bath by myself. <laughs> it's a really good time to just like pray or like think about your life. It's just a really good de-stress. So I definitely recommend bubble baths. I really don't know what I would do without them. So like my next apartment, if there's no bath, deal breaker, ladies. Deal breaker. <laughs> Gotta have the bath. And then um, if I want to go all out and do like a DIY sort of like spa night, I've really been liking this um, Jerlique Herbal Recovery Antioxidant Gel Mask because it's the winter time and my skin's super dry, kind of gross. And this is really great. It's just a clear gel mask which I'd never used before and it's got little hydrating beads in it. it smells really floral and refreshing and I'll just slap that on there do my 20 minute bath and emerge a new person I really recommend bubble baths that's so funny man I don't like baths isn't that weird really? it's so I strange it. I, I no, everyone's like you know I just don't like showering in general <laughs> which I do I bathe <laughs> I'm not gonna like sit here and be like whatever but I just don't like it anyway my next one, <laughs> side tangent, is Lara bars. Because I like really can't get through the workday without snacks. I'm definitely one of those people who like brings like five things to work in my bag and like lays them all out. And I eat throughout the day because that's just how I operate. But Lara bars, they get me through the morning. I really like them. They're gluten free, non-GMO, kosher. Everything I get has like a million, you know, Descriptor. Descriptors <laughs> underneath it, but specifically the peanut butter chocolate chip. Recommend these. They're very good. Even if you don't have allergies, I think they taste really good. Yeah. They're really good. If you don't like dates, I don't <laughs> recommend them. It's like dates. <laughs> because they're pretty much made out of dates, but the peanut butter and chocolate chip kind of, you know, they kind of levels it out a little bit. This might be a weird comparison, but they kind of, like in a weird way, remind me of like fake Newtons. You know, no, I would agree like, with they're that. They're kind of like that. Yeah. But better. Fig Newtons. Man, I had a love hate relationship with those when I was little. I just like a flashback to like the first grade, like opening my lunch pail. Like Fig Newtons. Like that's like, damn it. <laughs> anyway, these are better than Fig Newtons. They are really good. To say. They are really good. And they, they I mean, really give you a boost of energy and kind of, you know, if you're one of those people who needs snack, like mid morning, I really recommend something like a Lara bar because it really kind of gets you through till. Lunchtime. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so number four, I find cooking dinner extremely cathartic and rewarding. I really enjoy cooking and, you know, there are some times where it's easier to just, you know, get food on the way home or something, but um, I really find cooking to be like a de-stress and I just really enjoy cooking, especially like for my husband, like I just really enjoy that a lot. So it really helps me, you know, 
like work's done, I'm at home now, I'm cooking for my little family, and I just really, really enjoy that. And if you aren't a cooking type person, maybe just like force yourself to do it one day because it's really sort of like a rewarding thing to be like, take something from like nothing to this completed delicious meal. I think it's just, it's really good. And every Monday we do our Trader Joe's haul and we have our food for the week and yeah, try cooking. You might find it to be a de-stressing activity. It's good. If you need some recipes, watch Cook with watch Kate. Watch Cook with Kate. Ah, Linked below. Shame. Shameful plug. Um, no shame. <laughs> plug. This is good. We're really going flowing well here today because my next one is meal planning. And I know we did a video about meal planning. It wasn't meal planning. It was We talked about meal planning in a video. Yeah. We said how like we kind of both suck at it a little bit. <laughs> True. <laughs> um, but so I've read a lot of stuff about meal planning, like people's different ways they do it, how like they get through it, and the, everything I've read has just been so complex, like calendars with like numbers and bullets. Cook and it's for just a like, month and freeze it. Just like shut up. I just need a simple thing that I can actually stick to because the simpler it is, I'll stick to it. And one of our one of our friends who we went to college with, Laura, she started a blog. This is totally thanks to her. Um, she wrote a post on meal planning and I just followed her thing. Dude, works like a charm, love it. Her blog is no gluten, no cry. Check it out. It's really good. I really like it and, I'm, and it's really working for me. So I gotta say, like not having to worry about like running to the store, you know, throughout the week to pick up something to fill out a meal takes out stress and time out of the day. It's like, it's done just because you took 20 minutes on Sunday to figure it all out, so. Thanks, Laura. Uh, totally. We'll link her blog below. Too. Yeah. Um, and then our last one, we actually have the same thing. So we both have the same number five. And this could be like if we were doing like a ranking system, this would probably be number one. Yeah. But we kind of saved best, the best for, for last. last. Yeah. So, and that is Skyping or FaceTiming with family and friends back home. Yeah. I have to say. <laughs> My dear sweet parents are way behind the times and do not know how to use Skype at all. So I don't Skype them, I call them. But I do Skype with my best friends and their parents who have, kind of, they're, they're like family basically. So I do it every week and it's really, yeah, it really helps to get me through just the week in general, yeah. you know? Yeah, my mom, she got an iPhone like within the last year and she's like super into FaceTiming. And we used to like talk on the phone all the time, but now it's like I can like look at her when I talk and that sounds super stupid. But it really does change sort of your conversation and not if you live it's far away too. It's yeah, really nice yeah, to yeah my family's in Alabama, her family's in Michigan, Michigan so yeah. it's really yeah, I don't know what I would do without that. Thanks to technology. Seriously. And Skype. So yeah guys, let us know what gets you through the work week or just what helps you de-stress or decompress throughout the week, we would love to know. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you like the West Wing, because I asked that earlier. Um, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.